This is the part where we start to cringe. In section 1.2, talking about an introduction to signed numbers. Do you guys know what signed numbers are? No. Kind of somewhat no? Okay. Every number that we see has a sign attached to it. And of course we're talking about numbers being positive or they could be negative, right? We live in the real world. You guys may think that negative numbers don't belong in the real world, but see, that's where you're wrong. They belong here. We need them here, okay? Now, we were talking about the birth and death rates a little while ago, right? So here's what we have. Each hour, and this is just approximately, okay? Each hour, we have 450 people born in the US, okay? If we were trying to translate that number into a signed number, I hope that you guys would see that this is a positive 450. Why would I use a positive symbol here? Because it's, it's adding, it's an increase, right? Positive numbers mean an increase, does that make sense? And the, I'm gonna, I have to slow down on this because I have to make sure that you understand this. Because something that may s come very naturally to me, I want to be as natural as it is for me to be for you guys. You have to make those connections so that you're not looking at numbers going, I have no idea what this means. Make a connection with what you know. Some of you I can make connections with football, with sports. Others it may be money. Others it may be weight loss. Others it may mean um, I don't know, temperature. We have to find something so that we can agree and we can make these connections. Now, I said 450 people were born in the U.S. every hour. What if I say this, going back to what Dennis said earlier, he was focused on people dying. Um, I told you, it's going to come back to you. If I say 300 people die in the U.S., how would you translate that number using signs? Negative. That's a negative 300 because you're, decreasing. you're decreasing people, right? You're losing people. And what we're going to see later on is, okay, well, what does this mean? If you add 450 and you subtract 300, we're going to talk about net change, net gain or loss. That way we can understand what we're doing with, doing with positive and negative numbers when we add and subtract. You remember, it was a week or two ago with the whole polar vortex and how cold it got here? Yeah. Now, our temperatures got to below freezing, right? But maybe here in Houston, I think the coldest it got say at my house was 24 degrees, right? I think that's what I had at my house, 24 degrees Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. But that was a positive 24, right? Now, I've got some friends that live in Montana. Now, what was the kind of temperature they would have seen in Montana or Chicago or New York? Negative. They had negative degrees. Like, oh, what's the forecast? Well, the forecast is for a high of negative 9 degrees. But negatives mean something to us, right? When we look at the thermometer, bless you. Here we have zero degrees. And so you have negative degrees right here. So this would have been negative 9 degrees. And we were sitting up here at positive 24 degrees. So we see there's how they're related to each other based on zero, right? You've got some numbers that are positive, some that are negative. Do you all agree? Okay. So are negative numbers something that you've never seen before? No. How about New Orleans? Anybody ever been to New Orleans? Anybody know where it is? You've heard of it, maybe? Some of you have heard of it? Good, good for you. Now, 
New Orleans got hit by Hurricane Katrina back in 2005, right? Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of flooding. Do you, under, do you know why there was a lot of flooding in New Orleans? Oh. The city is like a bowl. <laughs> the elevation of New Orleans, the low elevation for New Orleans is negative six feet. And when I say negative six feet, when we talk about elevation, we're measuring elevation based on what? Sea level. Sea level. So when all of the water came in with the hurricane, if the city is sitting below sea level, the water is going to go to the lowest spot. That's what water does, right? Mm -hmm. That's why New Orleans was inundated with water. Okay. Now, it actually has a high elevation because it's not all underwater. The high elevation is... Oops, excuse me. High elevation is positive 20 feet. Okay. Have you guys ever watched Jeopardy? Mm -hmm. Love watching Jeopardy. Sometimes it makes me feel like I'm smart, and other times I'm like, ah, I did not know that. So here's a shout out to Wolf Blitzer. Uh, there was a celebrity Jeopardy thing. Now, if you ever watch Jeopardy, there's positives and negatives, right? You miss a question, what happens? Your money goes down. This guy was so awesome that he ended the day with negative $4,600, right? Other people, like Ken Jennings, remember Ken Jennings? His winnings was, I don't know, he won a lot of money, right? Definitely was not negative. But we see negative numbers, yes? Yes. Especially if you, anybody here do online banking? You ever look at your statement online? <laughs> okay. When there's a direct deposit, what does that mean? That's a positive. When you write a check or you have something that is automatically deducted, what is that? That's a negative. Yes? These are real world numbers. You make a connection. You guys watch football? Or is it just me? I watch football, right? On the radio this morning, they said that the combined rushing yards for Tom Brady and Peyton Manning this season, combined, they've rushed for negative 13 yards. What does that mean? It means they've been losing more yards than they've been gaining, right? If you guys watch the Houston Texans, you know this. <laughs> a penalty is the same thing as negative yardage if, it's, if you're on offense and you have a penalty, right? But we don't want to get too much into that because we're all going to get depressed. But hey, we get the number one overall draft pick, right? <laughs> Could you imagine if they were to pick up David Carr's little brother? Never mind. Here is your number line, just like you have. I mean, you, you see number lines like this all the time. We like to put zero in the middle, but it's not a hard and fast rule. When I do a number line, we typically like to have the positive numbers going out to the right. Somehow, we think that going out to the right, we think of that as increasing. But as we go out to the left, we think of this as what? Decreasing. Think of that as decreasing. So we'll have numbers like this, like negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on. Okay. You see all these numbers that I have here? These guys go all the way out to the left without stopping. They go all the way out to the right without stopping. And what we have here on this number line, these numbers right here, these are or these make up the set of integers, okay? The set of integers would be negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Okay? There is no integer that's furthest to the right. There is no integer that's furthest to the left on the number line. This guy keeps on going forever. That's why I have these arrow heads here. The arrows mean you go on forever. 
Okay. Now, do you guys see on the number line where the whole numbers are? We just talked about the whole numbers. The whole numbers are what numbers? The numbers that are to the right, but including zero, right? Yes. All the numbers I have here in blue are the whole numbers. Now, this, one, two, three, four, five, six, we call these what numbers? No. Not whole numbers. These were called the what? Counting numbers is how we normally re refer to them, but they are the natural numbers. When I add zero into the mix, then I have what over here? Whole numbers. When I add in the negatives of the whole numbers, what do I create? Integer. The set of integers. Integers are those positive and negative whole numbers that we have. Okay. If I say just whole numbers, then I'm talking about what set of numbers? Zero. Zero, one, two, three, four, and so on, right? When I talk about integers, I'm including the negative whole numbers as well. Are you guys with me on that? Mm -hmm. Good. 